before we get into anything, we must talk about our sponsor. Shout out to Celeste'sNest.net. They have a brand new summer collection of soaps and body butters that includes scents like turmeric infused orange berry, grapefruit margaritas, dragon's blood with activated charcoal, coconut mint, and so much more. Head over to the website and go shop. And of course, you guys know you can use my code HOA for 20% off your first order. Hey guys, welcome back to the house. So we have a lot to go over regarding the Real Housewives of Atlanta. TamaraTattles.com decided to drop an exclusive, which it really wasn't a lot of exclusive information. But y'all know me, I'm gonna relay the information to the house guests, okay? So happy uh, Saturday to everybody out there. The Portia spinoff will be titled The Pursuit of Portia. Now, if I can find the clips, okay, if I can roll back the tapes, I will definitely roll it back to the time, which was like a couple of weeks ago, when I said that the Bravo producers should name Portia spinoff The Pursuit of Portia. And now look where we are. The show is called The Pursuit of Portia, which basically means that Bravo watches The House of Aaron. So shout out to Bravo. I'm really going to need y'all to start sending me the episodes in advance so we can do some PR. But anywho, uh, yeah, Portia is filming confessionals for her spinoff. I believe filming has wrapped for the most part. So shout out to our girl, our fave, Miss Portia, Portia, Portia. With that being said, we already know that Candy has been filming her OLG spinoff. And they have about three weeks left. So shout out to Candy once again. Now, I guess this is where we come into the exclusive tea, which really isn't all that exclusive because we've been talking about this a million times over. But um, apparently Sheree was contacted by Bravo and they will most likely make a deal. All right. And then this is the part that kind of had me shook because I didn't even notice that Phaedra was in some sort of hot water when it came to homophobia and Lil Nas X. But according to Tamara Tattles, Phaedra made some homophobic comments about Lil Nas X and his performance at the BET Awards. You guys know that Lil Nas X got up there like Michael Jackson with the Egyptian outfit. And at the end of his Call Me By Your Name performance, he ended up kissing a boy. Now, apparently, that Lil Nas X performance had all of social media going crazy. Like, oh my God, a boy kissed another boy. whoop de doo Like, it's the end of the damn world. When is we gonna grow up? Okay, when are we gonna grow up? Because when a man kisses a woman on television, nobody ever says anything. Okay, so what is the difference? Like, it's 2021. Is we still talking about stuff like this? Is we really debating stuff like this? Like, who cares? So you guys, apparently on social media, someone said that gay people need to do better in response to Lil Nas X's performance, which I don't agree with. I feel like straight people need to do better, right? Um, and y'all, Phaedra went under their comments and said facts, okay? She was co-signing on the fact that gay people need to do better, which in my humble opinion, as a gay person, that is homophobic, all right? As black people, when we see something that's racist, who is a white person to say that it's not racist, okay? So as a gay person, I'm telling all the straight folk out there, that is very offensive, it's very hurtful, it's extremely disappointing, and in my humble opinion, it is homophobic. And you guys, I'm quite sad at the situation because Phaedra is one of my favorite housewives of all time. So the fact that she would co-sign on a comment like that it's just hurtful. It's hurtful, Phaedra. So y'all, apparently Bravo has been sitting back watching everything that's going down on social media. And I don't think she's going to come back anymore, right? I think Phaedra is going to be axed because Bravo does not want racist on their platform and they don't want homophobes on their platform. And so, um, I don't know. Okay. Do I necessarily think Phaedra is a homophobe? I don't. But do I think she has homophobic tendencies? Absolutely, okay? I really do, I really do. If you don't agree with me, then you don't have to. If you're one of those people who are gonna be up in the comments talking about some, well, a phobia is a fear. What is Phaedra afraid of? I'm gonna really need you to read a book, okay? Because you sound so elementary, talking about phobia is a fear. Have you ever heard of subconscious fears? Have you ever heard of why do you disagree with someone's lifestyle if it ain't ever hurt nobody? 
Okay, and I guess you're judging it off of this holy book that has been misinterpreted and mistranslated a million times over. Is you one of them people? Okay, I'm gonna do the crystal. Are you one of those girls? But yeah, if Bravo does not want to bring back Phaedra for these comments, then guess what? I ain't got no problem with that because I have a very low tolerance for homophobia, no matter how big or small it is. So it is what it is. Let me know how you guys feel about the situation in the comments down below. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Love you, and don't forget to create a great day.